there's not much left of Croker City Concert Hall, where fans of a veteran rock band had gathered to see a show. The seats have been destroyed, the auditorium filled with chunks of metal, a stage exposed to the open air. Now members of the emergency services comb the wreckage, looking for victims of the attack. Spontaneous memorials have appeared throughout the Russian capital, one forming here, near the entrance of the ruin complex. The authorities say they've caught four gunmen responsible for the incident, a massacre that's been claimed by Islamic State. But in a televised address, the Russian president suggested Ukraine was to blame. All those who shot and killed people were found and detained. They tried to hide and were moving towards Ukraine, where, according to preliminary data, a passage was prepared for them on the Ukrainian side to cross the state border. It is a major embarrassment for the country's strongman president. His imposing security infrastructure has failed to protect city residents. The gunman, clad in camouflage, gained access to the concert hall with automatic rifles, explosives and flammable liquids. Their operation was organized and ruthless, shooting unarmed civilians at point-blank range. Fueled by fear, the audience rushed for the exit, pushing, shoving, trying to barge their way out. But there were too many people in the auditorium. Calmly, calmly, says one. Exit that way, to the top, shouts another. When I looked at the line of fire, I saw that they were not shooting at the ceiling, not into the air, but shooting directly into the crowd of people who were in the front rows of the Crocus concert hall. This is the VIP zone, the first rows. The first, these blocks of seats, there was a crowd of people there. These were not some scattered groups of people or a few people, but it was just a crowd of people that were being shot at. I just can't imagine the scale of the disaster. In these images, people hurry past lifeless bodies sprawled on the floor. Streaks of blood mark the reception area. And the situation at Crocus City was deteriorating. The gunman had set the building on fire. Russian television has aired footage of four men the authorities accuse of carrying out the attack. This man, who doesn't seem to speak much Russian, is alleged to be the ringleader. Another seven have been detained. It is a monstrous incident that's left many in Moscow feeling vulnerable. In response, the Russian government will act aggressively. John Sparks, Sky News.